Um, okay, so um, <coughs> um, in the next, in this lecture here, we're going to finish um, the proof of the contraction mapping principle. So in step number three, we're going to show the existence of the fixed point. Um, remember, in the previous lecture, we proved that um, basically the sequence x of n is scotchy. Now, by assumption, we know that the space x is complete. Which basically means that um, if x of n is some sequence in x, which is scotchy, then basically it's going to converge to some point x in the same space. So we know that since x is complete, there is some point x sub x. I mean, sorry, there is some point x in x such that um, x sub n converges to x. Okay, so now we're going to show that the image sequence t of x sub n converges to um T of x, but because um, t is a contraction, that means the ordinary distance between t of x sub n and t of x is going to be less than or equal to c times um, the ordinary distance between x sub n and x. Um, but because x sub n converges to x, that means if you go in the limit of the inequality as n goes to infinity, uh, the ordinary distance between t of x sub n and t of x is going to be less than or equal to zero but the ordinary distance is um non-negative so that means the inequality cannot be strict so in the large n limit the ordinary distance between t of x of n and t of x is going to be equal to zero by definition that means basically the image sequence t of x of n converges to um t of x now if you remember we define the sequence x and inductively by um, x1 is equal to t of x sub 0 and x sub n plus 1 is equal to t of x sub n. So we can see that uh, the image sequence t of x sub n is a subsequence of um, x sub n plus 1. So that tells you that basically um, t of x is equal to x. That is um, the fixed point exists. Okay, um, so we're going to finish the proof by showing that um, the fixed point is unique. Suppose that um, x prime is any other fixed point of t. Then we can see that the ordinary distance between t of x and t of x prime is going to be equal to um, the ordinary distance between x and x prime. Because if x prime is any other fixed point of t, then that means t of x prime is equal to x prime. We already know that x it's a fixed point of t, that is t of x is equal to x. Now, because the mapping t is a contraction, so the ordinary distance between t of x and t of x prime is going to be less than or equal to c times the ordinary distance between um, x and x prime. So if we subtract the term um, c times the ordinary distance between x and x prime from both sides of inequality, then we see that. Um, 1 minus c into parentheses times uh, the ordinary distance between x and x prime is going to be less than or equal to 0. But because um, the constant c is between 0 and 1, that means 1 minus c is greater than 0. And because the ordinary distance is non negative, that means the distance between x and x prime has to be exactly 0. And we know that this is going to happen only if. Um, x is equal to x prime. So that tells you basically that um, the fixed point is unique.